This week, I gained another pound. I am back at 295, which means that for the past three weeks, I've been going between 294 and 298. But what's been most important to me is that I am still under 300 pounds. But I kind of wanted to use this week, this last week of the contest, to answer a question that many of you in East Texas have asked me. Will I continue working out and keep this physical fitness journey going after Monday when the contest ends? Even my fitness trainers aren't sure what I'll do. In all honesty, my hope for him is that he does. I know that he has the passion and the, um, the willpower to do so. Whether he chooses to or not is entirely up to him. I've been hesitant to answer that question. In the first month, I felt trapped into the contest. I did focus my energy on getting to April 15th and being done with the running, the lifting, the sit-ups, and the sweat. But that attitude changed. My vanity helped. Hearing people compliment my weight loss is ear candy. The biggest reason is my breathing. For the first time in seven years, I can take a breath and not hear congestion in my throat. I'm not going back to that. From the, the work that he's put in, I know he knows what he needs to do. Now the next step is for him to choose to do it. As far as I see it, the choice is clear. Okay, so the simple answer to the question, yes, I am going to continue. I don't want to be over 300 pounds again, and I kind of want to continue losing weight. This weekend, I had a lot of fun seeing some old friends and having so many of them tell me, wow, you've lost a lot of weight. Now, I've hired that in the past, but it was probably over 10 or 15 pounds of water weight, and I never really took the compliment because I knew it didn't mean that I did something. But this time, for the past three months, I did something. And this was no New Year's resolution. I got something done. And I'm gonna to continue to get it done. I promise you that. Reporting in Longview, Gray County, I'm Jimmy Isaac, KYTX, CBS 19 News.